Okay, okay. Aussie antics video. I did not watch yet. Set, set like to. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's watch it. Wait. <sighs> oh, it was grave. Oh, I had it wrong then. What the? F okay. This better be good, Aussie antics. I know you're gonna watch this right now. Everybody's hyping it up. Surprise, and I'm gonna, there's been a lot of stories One of clicks. Let me actually see. Wait, how many have there been? Story of clicks. Okay, there's been one, two, like, all right, so there's been like, there's been three. There's been like three. There's been like three. Who's seen the problem? Emery, the problem. This is a third one. Third one. Let's go. There's been a lot of pro players. There's been a lot of content creators. But rarely has someone managed to succeed so heavily at both. From playing in the biggest tournaments in the world. Okay, am I gonna get an ego boost? Be honest. Is this gonna is this gonna like make my ego crazy? It is? Okay, okay. Alright, right, this is good. This is good energy before then. World to creating content that changed Scott. the internet. You already know who I'm talking about. It's the big clip. That was hard. That was hard. 14-year-old kid qualifying to the World Cup six times to being the face of Fortnite. Six. Um. Aussie. Did I call six? One, two, three, four, five. Surprise, like, motherfucker. I called clicks hyper. I called duos week two, solos week three, solos week five, duos week six, solos week nine. Five times, okay. So he messed up. He messed up. It's okay though. Five solo, one duo? Nah. That's wrong. It's five. Night on Twitch. I didn't call week one of solos. I called I called three times solos, two times duos. But how did we get here? Cody, clicks, Conrad was born in five solo, one duo. Three t no. All right, all right, all right. Connecticut, United States on January 7th, 2005. He first began his gaming journey at the age of five on Minecraft and Call of Duty. He would sneak into his brother's room and use his PC. Even at this young age, he realized his dream was to become a professional gamer. He always knew he was good at video games, but it was with the introduction of Fortnite that his dreams of becoming a professional gamer could finally come true. Fortnite was exploding and creating careers overnight. Ah! Let's go! Ben! No! He's under us! <laughs> hey, Tim, let's go! Oh, come here, Jimmy. Comment and subscribe below to the channel. Yo, remember when Dr. Lupo was the best? I miss those days, bro. It wouldn't be so easy for Clicks, though. He didn't have his own PC or even a proper setup to try and Damn. go pro. Clicks wasn't just some spoiled kid whose parents were gonna let him drop out of school and buy him a $10,000 setup. <laughs> About time someone got the facts right. Thank you, Ozzy. I'm not a spoiled little. He had to convince his father that he could actually make this a career, and he did this by signing a contract with him. Yep. Clicks' dad agreed. That is true. I signed a contract with my dad. To buy him a PC if he promised to pay it back in installments through money he would earn on Fortnite over his summer break from school. Yep. His father was about to realize just how good he was. And then two and a half weeks later, he says, Damn. Yeah, I missed the crib, bro. I haven't been in the crib in a minute. Dad, you know, guess how much money I made? Guess how much money I made? I says, I don't know, two hundred dollars. Goes, no, no, no. Check this out. Eighteen hundred. So Sixteen hundred. He made a thousand thirty-five dollars in two and a half. Cap. It was a little bit more. It wasn't just about. No, nah, it was. I think it was that. Not the money though. Clicks had to really prove that he could make this a career. At this point in early 2019, Clicks was streaming to between 20 to 100 average viewers. It was these early days where people got their first glimpse of not only Clicks' insane ability at Fortnite, Chubby but his arms? personality I know, and I was desire a little bit to fat. make content. Surprise, he was streaming from scrims to build fights, all while uploading montages and highlights to YouTube. While he was seeing steady growth and success throughout this period, little did he know Dude. everything was about to change. Oh, In March of 2019, keys. Epic Games would announce the Fortnite World Cup.
That's Booga. Oh, that's Bex. <laughs> Dude, these kids were so bad. He's got the health advantage. Gus, otherwise, he would just drop down, right? Like, Perplex, he would have had to land double shotgun shots. Yeah, he's just gonna wait it out. I so. mean, he's, he is three counts. Clicks being a potential favorite to Dude, I'm the go! I remember this. Before the qualifiers even began, Derek, this was it. Oh my lord. He was now a professional gamer. However, the job was far from done. With millions of players competing around the world and only 100 solo and 50 duo spots, you had to be the best of the best. And without a doubt, Click was. Dude, I look so bad here. Like, my skill here was not like That's so bad, but it was it was the best at the moment. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at that. Managed to qualify not once, not twice, but five times oh. to the Fortnite World Cup. Wait, Quali I'm so he's qualifying in almost uh. every single week of solos and qualifying alongside his org mate Skeptic in duos. This would see an explosion oh. of growth. For I don't know who that Twitch is, bro. Skyrocketing from an average of 133 Damn. viewers in April Surprise, of 2019, the start of World w Cup qualifiers, to really? on an average of over 8,000 viewers in July. Damn! An increase of over 6,000% in only three months. God damn. People were beginning to get a taste of what Clicks could do. Yet with this explosion in growth and notoriety, I remember Clicks this. also found himself in controversy and drama. One I remember of his this. major keys to success and foundations of his fighting was the ability to almost always take his opponent's walls first try. This was when wall taking was I remember this. He spent the one I pre-fired that Bucky little you Bucky work could not do it anywhere near as well as clicks. Many people began to accuse clicks of using macros or cheats to take players' walls first try. Oh my god. Are you 20? Yeah, no, I'm one. No, no, no. It, it, was, it was a key line. It was a key line, I swear. With most people realizing Clicks wasn't using any illegal software or cheats, people even began to start or, rumors or that was the it? No, act he used had special abilities to take players' walls. People couldn't believe they still don't, they still didn't figure it out. Good. All this <laughs> drama playing. only fueled Clicks' growth, and coming into the World Cup, he was one of the favorites to take home the crown in solos. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time the Fortnite World Cup final. I hate this, bro. This. With 14 year old misfits clicks this age of 14, this makes me so mad dollars richer this must be the biggest moment of your life yeah. young life i'm assuming 100 percent. this is one of the biggest no, Tyler. <laughs> millions of people are going to be watching this he's saving those don't you worry i guarantee before this is so sad bro i really just threw this while we all know who won world cup clicks ended up placing 18th in solos and 35th in like I'm so mad, bro. I should have got top 10 easy, bro. Uh, I'm depressed. Duo. His solo placement especially being very respectable, but some people were Surprise, still disappointed. Due to him qualifying three months. Three months. Three every man. single week. Also, Clicks let me bounced get to back quickly. The hats Fortnite was about to see Trios become the competitive game mode enough. for the first time ever. And Clicks bro, bro, I need, I need to resack hats, bro. I do need resack hats. Base Sway and Tifu, which led to some incredible content. Yo, yo, we can take height, we can take height. Craig, Craig, Craig. Nice. Let's go into the build. Craig, Craig, Craig. I knocked one, knocked one. I'm getting focused. I'm high, I'm high, I'm high. However, it unfortunately didn't lead to the <laughs> placements they were looking for. Clicks, Spades, and Crims, however, were a different story. Placing first in numerous weeks of FNCS season X qualifiers, that. they were one of the favorites going into the grand finals. While not being able to bring home the title, a seventh place was still was a so very bad, solid bro. finish. So this bad. did begin to spell the story of Clicks' competitive it, career. While Assault. I would have put it nicer, Mongrel did sum it up while talking to Clicks about his placement. Why did you place a solo in Jewel Cup? So we'll leave it on Shut up, shut up, shut up.
Clicks was by no means placing poorly. He just had higher expectations going into finals that he couldn't seem to deliver on. Yo, yo, my girl, f you, bro. That would see f you. In growth for his channel. I can't even talk anything. Actually, he, he, he won that dash thing. He, like, my girl literally won 3 million like a week ago, so I can't even talk to be honest. Quite the opposite. It was during one of the darkest periods in competitive Fortnite in Chapter 2, Season 1. 4 mil? Yeah, I mean, nobody no knows. Content feeling dry it's, it, he's and clicks revolutionized dash. Twitch on me. Fortnite with the introduction Surprise, of fight wages. <laughs> Dude, that was crazy. Oh, Give me the five months, bro. I'll be all subs right after this, bro. <laughs> Wait, so Fortnite knows about the reload glitch and they didn't fix it? Oh my god. I was going through puberty right here. I was going through hard puberty right here. I'm gonna be honest. This is hard puberty. Like just the, you can tell my voice is skyrocketed. I I I had 60. January of 2020 like 20. to over 20,000 by month. Yeah. With millions of people tuning bro, I, in. I remember this tournament. I think I peaked at like 70, bro. That's crazy. Across Twitch and YouTube to follow not only his insane 100 to 0 record, but also his over the top personality and interactions with the other biggest names in the scene. You keep talking, I'm leaving, and I'm refunding you. I'm not even f joking. No one f likes you. Shut up. Oh my god. Dude. Bro, do you guys miss the toxic phase? Thank god I came over that, bro. Dude, I hate the toxic phase. Respect that. I don't like it. I'm gonna be honest, bro. I don't know how people like that. Like, looking at his back, I'm like. I'm not so toxic, hello? Bro, I'm not, I'm not so toxic at all. Type 2 of this is the most annoying kid you ever f***ing talk to. Shut the f*** up, you little bitch. That's easy, This was when people truly got to see what I believe to Benji be the key Fishy. to Wait, no. success. Who was this? Not just his ability to be insanely good at Fortnite, but oh, entertain wow, that's crazy. of people with his personality and natural ability to create content. This period through Clix's streams created some of the most memorable moments in Fortnite history. While there were pros such as Mr. Savage and Mongrel pulling in insane viewership, about three years ago, oh God! The the about big dog. It was well around clicked. this time I truly believe Clicks made a conscious decision to continue pursuing competitive Fortnite, but use his wow. platform to build a community that would survive past Fortnite. With this, in hey. July of 2020, yo, Clicks would announce his signing killing it right now. in one of the biggest org announcements in Fortnite history, becoming the crowning jewel in Shack, unarguably maybe. the most stacked roster in Fortnite. With a few solid finishes throughout squads and solo F. NCS, it was in Chapter 2, Season 4, the Marvel season, and the return of trios that Clicks looked like he was going to finally break the Grand Finals curse. Paired up with veteran IGL Bizzle and one of the most fighters in the game. W Illus, Wait, how do we do? Nah, great. we didn't do good. But did the we? I don't know. They secured a 4th, 5th, 5th, and 2nd. However, the finals would yet again we got fit? prove no to be way. Clicks' downfall, placing in 14. Yeah, the no. Clicks curse was looking like it would never be broken. The last five FNCSs in a row, all following the same pattern. Consistent higher placements in the qualifiers to then struggle in the finals. Facts. To break this curse would require one of the most stacked teams we've ever seen. Dropping right on. Oh, oh we, we did do good in this. Hey, pitch it out. Go B B C. Let's go, Bizzle. Let's go, baby. Let's go, Bizzle. After placing third in the last trio FNCS, Booger's decision to split with Avery and Jampa to instead play with Clicks and Bizzle confused a lot of people. But it did look like the team to break the Clicks curse. A fifth place. That's not bad. Not the FNCS. It's not terrible. Round, many Damn, bro. We should have got third. We should have got second. Wow, we actually could have won. We're hoping for but we have the three best wins. placement Clicks has had in an FNCS Grand Finals ever. And with another season of trios around the corner and the team sticking together, things were looking good. Did we Sadly, say Chapter 2, Season 6 would oh, prove no, we to be the Bro, I remember, bro. I remember Booga was... I'm, I'm exposed now. I remember Booga was messaging me the whole time saying, bro, I can't wait to leave Bizzle and all this shit, bro. Because Bizzle was... This is the season Bizzle was throwing. Bizzle was throwing this season. All three members' careers. Getting locked into a heated sport. Oh, we were contesting. That's Sprite, why. That's what he says. They oh, that's why we didn't like Bizzle because he doesn't want to fight. Didn't right, right, even right. make it into the reboot rounds, meaning they had no chance to qualify for the grand finals. 
the fallout of this team's performance can still be seen today, with many people blaming Lizzle for their <laughs> off-spawn <laughs> troubles. <laughs> So didn't help after all of this, <laughs> Gabe, Tahi, and Sprite would go on to make reboot rounds and pull off one of the most memorable clutches Surprise, in history, Blowing. securing their spot in the grand finals without clicks. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! 1v2 situation! Oh my god! Now it's a 1v1 situation! Sprite, six bills left! If he clutches this 1v3, this is the most clutch play we've ever seen in uh, Fortnite competitive history. I don't think there's been anything better. Oh my god. Woo! No! Calc! What are you doing? Wow, you bro. just got 1v3'd. How about this? Sadly, Clicks did not bounce back well from this performance, going on to struggle in all remaining FNCS tournaments for the rest of Chapter 2. It was time for change. It was time for a new era. A small it was era. time for IGL Clicks. Yep. If you don't know competitive Fortnite at a high level, most teams... Respectfully, I'm pausing it. I know you guys are mad. Me becoming an IGL is the best idea I've ever done. I have learned so much. Now I think it's time I become a fragger will have a designated IGL or leader. I'll go a play who I got so much better and you guys can't decision. Bro, I got so much better and you guys can't even you guys can't even disagree how much better I'm getting. While this takes a lot of experience and understanding of the game, if you want to have full control over your performance, this is the role you need to be. With the announcement of duos as the competitive game mode for all of 2022, Click sick of the Click's curse and wanting to take things into his own hands, found the scariest duo he could in day and decided to try his hand at leading. This is fire. I, I'm pausing because I was saying back to Fragger. I, I'm, I might be going back to Fragger next season. Uh, we'll see. Because I'm going to be honest, I think I'm already like, I think I'm so stinky right now, like skill wise. That I'm selling. That I'm sell like if bro, if me being a fragger, I think I would be ten times better. Like I I jail and everything, but like I don't know, maybe who knows? You could do both. You could do both. That is true. You don't need I jail right now. I'm gonna be honest. You like it helps, but you don't need it. Hundred. Oh my God. Jack in the Alright. Box. Hundred. Box. Two fine. Let's go, baby. Baby, come on. No longer just doing zone wars and box fights on stream for content. Must be actually oh, hitting the bots, getting the codes, and taking his performances into we'll his see. own hands. I don't know if Donnie's going to Texas yet. So I don't know. Surprise, motherfucker! I like Donnie. Nice first two into months. the ocean. Clicks never having IGL'd before was gonna try and take the reins over one of the most aggressive and difficult fraggers to control in the history of Fortnite. Much, Things were off to a slow start for the NRG duo in Chapter 3 Season 1, placing 27th in the first qualifier and 16th in the second qualifier. Many people questioning Clicks' decision to IGL, telling him he Dude, should I just stick to fraggers. I'm so nasty, However, bro. I'm sorry. However, a 6th place in I remember that clip. had a lot of people surprised and began to pay attention. Maybe a slow start, but strong finish would finally break the Clicks curse, and the team ended on get? a very seventh. respectable seventh in Grand Final. That was respectable. While not the that best performance of Clicks's career, his first I came time back. in a new role shocked many with his ability to mature as a player and a person. Things were looking up. With another season of duos, Clicks and Day would run it back, but unfortunately could not replicate the same success. After an up and down qualifying run, they made it to the grand finals only to place 35th. Almost That's everyone bad. in the community, myself included, urged Clicks to go back to being a fragger as he was wasting his mechanics and wasn't going to make it as an IGL. We couldn't Surprise, have been more wrong. Clicks decided to split with Dave, but instead of finding an IGL, decided to trust his instincts and pick up Dukes that and is give true. it one Surprise, Shot. Bro, I, chat, I thank God bro. he did. Respectfully, I knew I was smart as fuck, bro. I don't give a fuck. Suck my oh, fuck. that was cringe because I like the music didn't play after. Dude, I was so.
Alex alongside Dukes got a fourth place in FNCS Grand Finals. His best placement ever. I could have won, man. I could have won. And one make it as an IGL. And before chapter three was over, he had one final chance to prove it on the world stage at the FNCS. And guess who contested us, guys? <laughs> guess who contested us? And Dukes climbing their way up the ranks. Fourth in the most recent NA East FNCS. They won the first Elite Cup of Dude, I looked good here. Holy sh That was after tonsil surgery, so I was down like 30 pounds. Damn, I do need to f start. I mean, like... Ugh. I'm at a good size right now, but like, I think if I lose like, no, I need to shut the f up. I need to gain weight. I always say I want to lose weight, but I shouldn't lose weight. I should gain weight. I should gain muscle. I should gain muscle weight. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, sh oh sh bro, I promise to God, if we weren't con, me and Dukes are pulling a pulling a top five in uh, Invitational. A difficult spawn fight between Clicks and Pink would unfortunately cause Look at that little do a little struggle. My bad. But Clicks and Dukes did manage to come out on top in 15th, uh -huh. even picking up a win at the event. Outside of Zone, he has the only chance right now, but he gets the down on the Duke. Clicks versus Bevy. He's trying to go play it. This field was crazy. This was crazy. The crowd was crazy. Many would consider this an underwhelming performance given their circumstances. Clicks was happy with the result. Hell yeah, the f we were conning these little pink mother like 30th. The four My bad. continued to be one of the most talked about pros in the competitive scene. What does the future look like for Clicks? What is more important, content creation or competing? Booga had these same questions to ask on Clicks' stream and he had this to say. Nah, bro, what is the real goal? <laughs> I just want my stream. Like, just be honest. I mean, bro. I just want to succeed in, in everything. I, I'm telling you right now, if I stopped streaming and I let's just say fell off, but I'm doing good in comp, I would be so. F I wouldn't give a f about comp. While this video has mostly focused around clicks as a competitive player, it is his growth and development as a content creator that has outshone it all. He has launched a successful merch company, hosted streams and events that have impacted the entire internet. The <laughs> He is not just can you please shake some me the Fortnite kid You'll still see him at the top of the Fortnite category anytime he's live, but he's developed so much more than that a new chapter yeah. for clicks has <laughs> now bad. started. My bad. While making this video I've realized just how much he's grown in this period Surprise, still for jokes. I love when you stick your cone in sand on my butt. He still thinks he's jacked What do you got to say, Aussie? What do you got to say? What do you got to say? Let me cook. You see that? You see that? But he's still one of the biggest faces in the Fortnite scene, and I don't think that's going to change for a very long time. Good video.